Western Europe consists of Andorra, Spain, Portugal and many more beautiful countries. It has been a popular tourist destination for many reasons. It has a very unique cuisine, which you can enjoy at inexpensive prices. If you're looking for an adventure, Western Europe has a great collection of festivals and activities. Even if you're looking for some serenity, you can admire some of the most commendable works of architecture. If you are looking for the beauty of nature and beaches you have many options and breathtaking places to visit. In this video we take you to 10 of the most beautiful places, that you need to visit in Western Europe. If you want to see the beauty of the world, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's start with our list. Number 10, Bologna, Italy. Bologna is the largest city in the Emilia-Romagna region in North Italy. The city is nicknamed the Learned One, referring to the oldest university in Europe located in Bologna, and the Fat One, referring to the culinary cuisine. Bologna is also a UNESCO city of music. Bologna is centrally located in North Italy, the city is famous for housing the oldest university in Europe built in 1088 AD, the Bolognese cuisine, plentiful beautiful churches and some amazing museums. Many Italians consider Bologna, with its red terracotta roofs, the most beautiful city in Italy, second to only Venice. Bologna hosts several students every year from different parts of Italy, and Europe, and the northeast part of Bologna is the university zone. The best way to discover the city is by hiring a bicycle and cycling around the porticos of Bolgna. Number 9, Salzburg, Switzerland. Salzburg, the city where the sets of The Sound of Music was located, and the birthplace of Mozart. This small, little storybook city will be an ideal holiday destination. If you want to a break from the buzz of the city life, if you want nothing more than to stroll along the streets with the surrounding countryside. From Mozart and the sound of music to ice caves, salt mines, churches and castles, Salzburg packs in an awful lot for the small city. Mozart and the sound of music, these are the two things you have to mention when you talk about Salzburg. The city is not really modest when it comes to shouting about these. Salzburg has much more going for it though, the ever-growing art scene, Picturesque parks and numerous concert halls make Salzburg what it is. Walk up to the Hohen Salzburg Fortress, stroll along the Mirabel Garden, shop at the Getreide Gas Street, see the salt mines and ice caves and take the The Sound of Music tour to know more about the city. Salzburg owes much of its beauty to the fast-flowing Salzach River which runs across the entire province. The city has a lot to offer to the history and architecture buffs as well. Festung Hohen Salzburg, Mozart Wohnhaus has some priceless history contained in its walls. Number 8, Liverpool, England. Famed for its wonderful culture, winning football teams, the Beatles and a buzzing nightlife, Liverpool is one of the major cities of UK situated in Merseyside in England. It lies within the boundaries of Lancashire. It was awarded as the European Capital of Culture in 2009 and is home to some of the major attractions in Europe. The seaport of Liverpool is located in the northwestern part of England, and it is at a distance of 336 kilometers from London. This town has a reputation of wit, and the people have an obsession over football and music. Along with that it also has an impressive cultural heritage, and it is home to more museums than any other city apart from London. The galleries here are among the best in the country, and is a major shopping destination as well. It is one of the major premier ports in England, thanks to its location. There have been two decades of complete urban regeneration, and now the city has a sparkling new waterfront with latest shops and restaurants. It is a blend of the old heritage, and the urban culture. The nightlife scene in Liverpool is also really famous. Number 7, Munich, Germany. Munich today is the technology capital, that values quality of life over and above all other aspects. Nevertheless the Bavarian city retains a medieval charm. It's a city that guilelessly blends modernity and tradition. The chic and the fashionable coexist with lederhosen, leather pants. With the static Alps in the backdrop, 
and the turbulent Isar passing through, modern Munich is cosmopolitan and one of Germany's most visited cities. The city revels in its own contradictions. A modern metropolis flanked by technology and innovation, home to the BMW Welt, HQ of BMW, Siemens and Microsoft, FC Bayern Munich's 21st century stadium and so much. A traditional city with a Bavarian heritage, Oktoberfest and Dirndl clad waitresses, on the other hand. The locals seem to have well adapted amidst the modern designer boutiques. While in the city, you will never be short of things to do. There are art galleries, medieval churches, dynastic palaces, old theaters, nightclubs, beer gardens and cafes. The three splendid Pinakothek galleries are representational of different periods of art and history. Number 6, Vienna, Austria. One of the most gorgeous capitals of Europe, Vienna is a city packed with architectural wonders, buzzing with melodious music, and streets are lined with most astounding restaurants and cafes. While innovative museums preserve the rich past of the city, there is a remarkable blend of old and new, giving Vienna a distinctive charm. With sheer quality of life and abundant artistic skills of the city makes it a perfect all-rounder destination. The capital city of the Republic of Austria, and unmistakably one of the most visited cities of Europe, Vienna is sprawling with raw beauty and charm of its own. Shattered by its rich history, one can see the reflection of the past all across the city through grandiloquent historic buildings, and well-preserved culture. Nestled on the banks of the beautiful Danube River, Vienna served as an entryway between West and East Europe for centuries. Number 5. Basel, Switzerland. The beautiful city of Basel is placed just so, along a bend in the Rhine River. The city is located roughly where the French, German and Swiss borders touch. It is filled to bursting with museums and is a wonderful place for art lovers. Basel is obviously a very beautiful city. Anywhere you go, you will always be met with scenic vistas, owing to the natural beauty brought to the city by the River Rhine. Basel is also known to have the highest number of museums in all of Switzerland. It is also often said to be the cultural capital of the country. Here, you will find a mix of the traditional and the modern, antique shops, old book stores, and old town squares mingle with well-designed modern buildings, chic designer boutiques and more. If you're visiting in spring, be sure to take a look around you at the plethora of cherry trees, which blossom beautifully during this season. Number 4, Santorini, Greece. Santorini is one of the most spectacular islands in Greece. It is a part of the Cyclades Islands, and sits in the Aegean Sea, halfway between Athens and Crete. The crescent-shaped island is famous for its iconic white houses, blue dome churches and windmills. It is the most photographed island in the world. The highlights of Santorini are its hikes, beaches, sunset views, hot springs and clifftop wineries. Earlier known as Thera, Santorini comprises five main villages, Fira, Ia, Imerovili, Fira Stephani, and Akrotiri. These villages sit on the top of the caldera clifftops, and offer stunning views of the caldera and the volcano. Ia is the main town and the most visited because it has the famous blue dome churches, and the best sunset views. It also has many boutique stores and charming cafes. Fura is the capital of Santorini and is famous for its churches and cafes. Akrotiri is an important archaeological site showcasing the town's prehistoric settlement. The moon shape of Santorini is because of the severe volcanic eruption in 1650 BC that formed the island. This eruption created a caldera, a large volcanic crater. While most of the caldera is filled with water today, a small semicircle part of it is left above the ground and is one of the most stunning parts of the island. Nia and Paleocomini are the active volcanoes still found in Santorini. Number 3, Hallstatt, Austria. Hallstatt, a World Heritage approved by UNESCO. A small village, full of history, Hallstatt, is located on the southwest of Hallstatter Sea. It is one of the locations in Austria with villagers only in the hundreds. Hallstatt was registered as a World Heritage by UNESCO in 1996. It is an ancient European place with great historical impact as there is the oldest salt mine in the world nearby. It is also adjacent to Salzburg. The Hallstatt Lake is always there as a highlight. The town is full of interesting history. The archaeologist community praised Hallstatt as a valuable treasure. The town is available all year long as it has something new to offer with each season. This is why you should not miss Hallstatt. Hallstatt Town Square is where visitors must go and take a few memorable photos. The stone field with a fountain in the middle is where people go to relax, sip some coffee and enjoy the village view. This square is also where the local festivals and events take place.
Number 2, Kirkenhof, Netherlands. The Garden of Europe. Located in Lisa, Netherlands, Kirkenhof is the world's largest flower garden. Its name translates to kitchen garden in English and is also known as the Garden of Europe. This popular attraction features more than 7 million flower bulbs, which are planted in the garden each year. Kukenhof encompasses 32 hectares of land. Throughout Kirkenhof, tourists will find a wide range of different gardens and styles. The English garden features charming winding paths, while the historical garden is enclosed and features a variety of different bulbs. Many areas of the park also include water gardens, fountains and ponds. Kirkenhof is only open for a few short weeks each year. Typically, the garden opens in late March and closes in the latter part of May. During this time, Kirkenhof is open daily from 8 a.m. until 7.30 p.m., including public holidays. For hungry visitors, there are a few pavilions in the garden with self-service restaurants to accommodate your needs. Food offerings include smoked sausage sandwiches, waffles and Dutch herring. Several vendors are located throughout the garden as well. Number 1, Barcelona, Spain. Hans Christian Andersen described Barcelona as the Paris of Spain because of its resemblance with the French atmosphere. The city has a beautiful charm, and a rich cultural significance. It is the capital city of autonomous community of Catalonia in Spain and the second largest city in Spain. With a population of over 2 million people, Barcelona is the second largest city in Spain. Located on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, Barcelona has a rich history and a wide range of attractions for the tourists from across the globe. The city is filled with galleries, museums, medieval monuments and many other special attractions. It is also a major commercial and industrial center. It is situated along the Mediterranean coast, and the towering mountains provide the perfect backdrop for the city. The city is the capital of Barcelona province, as well as, of the autonomous region Catalonia. It is a gateway to few of the best tourist spots in the entire world like Costa Brava, Tarragona, and Costa Dorada. Barcelona is also the chocolate-producing center for Spain. This city has everything that a European city is famous for markets, restaurants, museums, churches and shops. The center of the town provides life and enjoyment, whereas, the beaches near the city are the place for complete relaxation. Watch Adventure Travel Channel to get inspired for your upcoming trip, or just travel virtually around the world. Make yourself calm, select one of our amazing videos, push play, and lean back, start the amazing experience.